So here is the beautiful fireplace that comes with the RV and uh, it puts out a lot of heat. It's really nice and this TV is awesome. It just uh, has a button that raises and lowers so you can hide it back behind there and use that space as counter space or once you parked, raise it up. But I need to remove this fireplace because I need to work on the TV. And I realized that it's almost impossible to get back behind the TV there and to get to all the wiring, it's much easier to remove the fireplace. So I didn't find any good videos on this, so let me show you how to remove this thing. All it is is eight Phillips screws. The only tool you need is one long Phillips head screwdriver. All right, next we have two Phillips head screws that look like this that you have to remove. So you probably need a pretty long screwdriver to get in here at this angle. Hopefully whoever installed them left them at a little bit of an angle for you so you can get to. Uh, just go ahead and unscrew them, one on each side. And right in here is the second screw for the other side. So just uh, unscrew that. So after you remove them on both sides, the way this works is you just lift the glass straight up and pull it away. In here, you can kind of see where they hook on, but let me show you another view. So let me show you what this is gonna look like with this removed already. That's the easiest way. So we got two little uh, knob things, I'll call them sticking out there, and they go into slots on the sides of the glass. So this is the back of the glass. This is where the screw came out of. So on each side of this, there are two hooks, and the hooks just go right here on these. After you get that glass panel off, you can see here we got three more Phillips on each side, and uh, you'll notice that the little rocks for your fireplace are right here. Uh, it looks like they're all individual and can fall out, but don't worry, they are all attached together. So I'm just gonna remove all six of these Phillips. Once those are all out, it should just slide right out. Yes, now it is uh, very loose, you can see. All right, it's filming with one hand, but yeah, you just pull it straight back, comes out really easily. And you can see the only thing on the back is this power cable going in here to power it. So now, I have access to all the wiring down here, which is why I removed this in the first place. So here you can see the frame protrudes along the uh, top and the sides, but it is flat on the bottom. So you can just set it right there flat on the ground if you want to get back here. So uh, in this case, to replace it, I'm going to line this side up. I'm just going to line this side up and get them both on there. And then do the same with this side. So right here through the glass, you can actually see them. Uh, if you can get past the glare. So once the glass is pressed flat against there, push it back down and uh, it sits right on there. And then your screw hole should line back up with where you uh, have the hole in the wood. I hope that was helpful guys. Now that we have this RV, I'm gonna start making videos on it because I can't find any information out there on these things either. So we'll try to get some good content out there. So if you've got one of these things or interested in RVs in general, subscribe to the channel, follow along, and I'll see you on the next one.